Welcome to Chester Zoo for our very, very first adventure to this famous zoo, obviously featured in Secret Life of the Zoo on Channel 4, Channel 4, and uh, we've seen it from afar for a long time and we've never come here. Now you've just seen some shots of the elephants and the rhinos as we've walked in. I have to say, we've been absolutely blown away by the look of the zoo on the entrance, and indeed how many people are here as well. It is rammed, Kurt. It is. Absolutely rammed. I've never seen a busy zoo like this. Yeah. You're still on foot patrol. Yeah. But um, we can take it slow around here, to be honest. Now, it's not the cheapest place to visit. Um, the place had 1.6 million last year, Kurt. Visitors, yeah. Visitors. So it's a busy old zoo. Yeah, it's a busy <laughs> old zoo, and that's not a bad year. Is that an actual bird down there? What the hell is that? There's a nest in the hole. What is that there? Oh, um... I can't see. It's a good, it's a good question. Can't that is in. massive. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. Some kind of eagle there. I tell you, we've been absolutely blown away on the walk in. And you know, we get, we visit many zoos. As you know, on our channel, we do cover adventure places, not just theme parks. But we've never seen enclosures this big and this well sort of put together. Now, I know again, not everyone's interested in zoos. I do get that. I'm sorry if you're not a zoo person. Please skip vulture. on. But um, we love it. We love it. Black That's a black vulture. Yeah, so we're going to show you the exhibits in this. We're going to walk you around the zoo. We've never been here before. We don't know where we're going. We can't remember where we've parked, to be honest. So look, we've, got, we've got this beautiful sunny day. We've got some hours to take in. Can't wait. Can't wait. Stay with us. It's going to be worth it. I love a good butterfly house. Love them. So majestic. And you think they only live for a short period of time. There are, there are random lizards in here as well. Really? So we're just seven. Mm. There's some lizards around as well. I like a good lizard too. There's a bluey green one, though. Oh, he's just pushed him off, look. You bully. Don't tell me they don't look cool. So apparently there are random lizards in here, you say? Yeah, somewhere. I haven't spotted them. But I doubt they're going to be very easy to spot. No. No, I agree. I don't think they will be. I wouldn't say it's 30 degrees in there either, but they've actually got fruit growing. Like mangoes. Anyone in the comments? What are they? Yeah. Here's what we can expect to find in here. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. All right, I think we'll get through this. And then we'll come back out again. But look at this, look. We can nip down here as we're right at the end now. Oh, how beautiful is that one, though? It's attracted to the heat. He's like, let me go, let me go. Super, super impressed with this. They're just flying all around here. So, yeah, apparently there are some little lizards in there, but we haven't seen those. Um, to be fair, I'm not too surprised. Brilliant, love it. It's your favourite cut? I do like goats. I do like the goats. Oh, come on. These are just domesticated goats. But even then, look how impressive it looks. I'll tell you, when you look through there, that's where we've just come from for the butterflies. And you sort of look around here, and you ignore the pylons. And apparently the lions are down here. It just looks so open, doesn't it? It does. It's just incredibly open for a zoo. Is it I mean, we talk about fences, don't we, at like theme parks. Even at zoos, I've never seen anything so natural as this. I just think it looks so beautiful here, it really does. Now we're approaching now the lions as well. The enclosure does stretch all the way along here. And here she comes. Well, here comes one of them anyway. What a view. She's thinking, can I run and jump over that fence? <laughs> Please don't. 
So here's like the indoor enclosure. Yeah. I mean, there's none in here. Got another door out the back. Yeah. They got their own bit as well, but. But look at it. It just looks so. I mean, compared to what we normally see. Yeah. I appreciate not everyone's going to like this and still say it's not in a natural environment, and I do understand that. My God. It's the closest I think I've seen. Yeah. It feels like, it feels like, I said to Kurt, it feels like I'm at Bush Gardens, this is what it feels like. When I went to Bush Gardens, this is how it felt, like really massive, massive paths, really laid out. Yeah, it's just natural. Lots of people. <laughs> Lots of people, yeah. Yeah, and even Animal Kingdom's a bit like this. I think Animal Kingdom's obviously significantly bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. It's five of them down there. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, we do, but that's how it Genuinely blown away by the size of this place. Not only the size of this place, all the little nature bits, little sort of things they do along the way from the, the crates for the wildlife, the insects, the bugs, the bees. And we've just seen a, what well, Kurt was in the toilet, we've just seen a sloth walk across there. But this is the spirit of the jaguar, so we're going to go in here first. Oh, wow. Right, I don't know where to start. There's a sloth above our head here. I love the size of that fish tank, <laughs> Oh, wow. And then the jaguars are behind us. We're going to take a look at them as well. So, like, here are the bush dogs having a nice little play. Look, there's loads of them. When you think of Chesington, have two. It's a proper pack here of them. Look at them go. Stubby tails. They like to follow each other, don't they? They go round in a circle. Love it. I like the dog. These little ones just put the corner and cheated. Absolutely love it. As we said over here, it's back to where the sloths are. Or sloth, we haven't seen any more than one, but they can go out anywhere they want to go out. Any way they want to go, I think. Oh, he's in a tree now. Oh, God. And we've got this humongous fish tank here. He got that high nice and quick. Look at the size of it. So this is the Jaguar house here, although we can't see any running water or anything, so I'm not overly convinced it's in here at the moment. I don't know if it's got an outside bit, but we're gonna risk going outside now and having a look. Push, there we go. And we've come back out here. Not sure where it's cool now. <laughs> so the sloth can come all the way out here. He's right, there's one right there, look. Oh, that's oh. Just chilling in the tree. So they definitely have more than one. He's literally just chilling. I think this was four. What do you think? Yeah, it's really good on it. So far? It's anywhere like this. No, I can't think of another two like this in the, in the country. Metropolis. It's on a different level. Completely different level here yeah, to what we've seen anywhere else. But we still need to find the Jaguars. My guess is they're going to be in here. Oh wow. Oh my. Out just before. So people have seen it, it's in here somewhere. I think they might be doing some work over here, but this is a realm of the red ape. So we're going to follow everyone else. Everyone else seems to be heading this way. Don't drop your phones, people. Yeah, this definitely looks a little bit temporary, this one. Well, the step by anyway. <laughs> Smidgen temporary. Oh yeah, so he's got a broken oh. foot. You got a broken foot, God? Yeah. Keep forgetting. We've made it to the top, so they are replacing the stairs. We found out where the other stairs were going to be. See all these little informational things about the trees? They're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere you go. So they're right down the back. One of them's hiding underneath a blanket there and one of them's sunbathing over in the corner. 
I assume they have three. There's three separate tables. Yeah, we might be able to find another one on the way down. He's there, I think. We can see him. Right, let's go down and have a look. Love the misters, come on. There is something. Oh, there he is, look. Little one is running around outside. They're not looking at us, God. Like, Looks like they're having a meditating session. It does, doesn't it? Very calm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you get soaked uh, in this one. This one just spits. Yeah. With the, with the mist in again. Now, you see, I would take you home. I'm not sure how much Kurt would like it. Can we take it home, Kurt? No. Cody, can we take it home? Sure. Huh? Sure. Why? Why not? Snakes are horrible. They can stay with you. What? Can stay with you? Yep. Right. 2v1. I call that a victory. I call that a victory, Cody. Shussy Turtle wins. We're all losers today. Now, just off the beaten track are some otters and whatever that is, a warthog thing. We need to find the otters, though. And the flamingos. I don't mind seeing flamingos, Kurt. I think they're quite um quite harmless in the scheme of things. Massive cage for them as well, which is good. You can pair this wow, but there are quite a lot of them. <laughs> like loads of them. Let's see if we can see some penguins up here. So we couldn't see the giant otters around the other side, but they're there, look, laying down. Now these can stand a metre tall, unbelievably. When you see them at though. New Forest Wildlife Park not that long ago and they're actually moving around, you can see exactly how big they are. These things are huge. These ones are sleeping, I don't blame them. Out of the bird gardens and we're just in an open space. I just don't really know where we are. We didn't pick up a map. To be fair, we weren't offered a map actually. No. But we didn't pick up a map. I have no idea where we are. Yeah. What's going on? How close we are to anything? There's a red panda climbing that tree. We can't get a great view of it, to be honest with you. Trust me, he's there. He's there, Cody. He's there. He's there. There's not something you see every day when you come to these places. Single bin, put it all in there, and they sort it afterwards with clear bags. I think that's Very brilliant. Good. That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. All the other places making you do it for them. Nope. And to be fair, most of them as well. Most people just throw it in one bin anyway, and they've probably realised that over the short period of time that um, everyone's had double bins is that people just put it in anything so why not just sort it afterwards I can imagine they're doing their bit for the uh, environment here they literally have a barbecue they literally have a barbecue yeah. cat oh I can't think of better and all this open space I have no idea where we are we need to check a map yeah right we found the cheetahs but we do also need to... We, we found, we we've, we've come in here, here we've though. seen these, yeah. we've been around here. Komodo. We've got to go back to here, haven't we? Because yeah. I want to see the Komodo drag. How did we miss those? But they're quite close to the bridge, so we went left, that's why we need to go right. And we've still got all this oh, to yeah, see. The lemurs, I don't see cappies. Neither. Ooh. Bring it in. This is sad. This is sad. Bring it in. But not every animal's listed on there, apparently. Um, it is. Yeah. Every animal is listed on there. On this bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've looked on that bit. Oh, I missed it! Oh, it's there. there. 43. Oh, it's 43. 43. 43's got to be around here somewhere. Yeah. There. Yeah, top, next to the bears. Next to the bears. So once we go for Bat Ridge, we'll actually be in Capybara country. Um, it's it funny how you can get to the exit both ways, but islands, I think, is where the Capybaras are. I, I hope they've got their own island. The island of Cappy. Where was it where we went? Where the tapirs were taking the Cappy's island? It was labels of Cappy Bar. Oh, and the tapirs that was Folly Farm. That was Folly Farm, yeah. Yeah. 
Them. And they didn't have any cappies, did they? No, they didn't in the end. That big sign's up. See, we have to look for certain things when we go out. Down here, Dad. Are they? Yeah, there's a sign right there. Yeah. No, we walked down this way. Oh, he's there, look. Huh? It's oh, just gone under the tree. I saw a foot. Yeah, down this way, you're Horrible. I won't lie, Cody. Watching you walk down here is the funniest thing I've seen in a while. As you sort of rock from side to side in your big boot. I kind of wish you'd broken both now. You'd be rolling down here on your stomach. You'd be pushing me in a wheelchair. Actually, yeah, that's true. I can't be bothered to do that. It's too hot. Cody, let's have a look. This brings back some memories of two years ago, doesn't it? Let's go find the bats. So we're in the bat cave. We've got some Turkish mice. Oh my life, look at them, look. Oh my god. Turkish mice cut. I don't know how much you're going to see on this because it is quite. Um... So three fighters that way or that way. Oh. oh. Let's go. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you in here. You might not see the bats. It smells weird. It smells like bat shit. Oh yeah, you can see them up there, look. Oh, I don't know if... That, I'm really sorry guys, I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up on the camera. But there are definitely bats hanging over there. Well, let's have a little walk round. So we've got the fruit bats in here and the short tail bats in here. Of course, bats do generally like night, although when we went to Bristol they were just above our head during the day. I lock a bit of daytime occasionally. Not that I think you can see me talking to you now. Oh, there's loads in here. Okay, there are a couple flying towards our head. Oh, fair play. If anyone gets hit by a bat, there's one just hanging right there. Look. There's one hanging there, yeah. I'm sorry if you can't pick this up. I might try and brighten it and post edit. Oh, there's some right in front of Flash off, yeah. Who's got flash off? You! I don't think it was. It was you. I don't think it was. It was definitely you. I watched it come out your bloody phone. Yeah, it's not mine. Cut it with bloody flash on. <laughs> oh, look at those, look. Hopefully with the background you can see them. Yeah. Did you get batted? I did. You get batted on the head? It just by its wing. Just Is this another like... concussion for six months? Yeah. Oh, God. Quick faint. Quick faint. Yeah. That was real fun. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. So I had to put a mask on to protect the animals in there. God, I haven't worn a mask in months. Absolute months. That brought back some memories. Oh, I can't breathe now. So hot now. <laughs> All right, onwards. Onwards to the cappies. Yeah. Somewhere in the distance over there, I can see capybaras. I don't know, only got two, Cody. Mm. Just He's not happy. He's not happy. I think we'll get a better view from around the other side, in honesty. Maybe there's some wallowing in the water over there. That better be like 10 over. Hey, yes, in Ireland. So this looks like a new area we're going down to here. And we're going to find some tigers. And some zebras. I see zebras. I see stripy bats. Cody's a little unhappy with the amount of cappy bars that were down there. That's three. That's three. Three cappies. Yeah, three cappies. And they're not that close either. No. Uh, the bears, he was in there feeding them, so we're going to come back and see if we can find the bears as well, because we really want to see them. The That's certainly down. not common that, um, uh, that any do. No, we thought there was a lot of noise coming from around here. That's because there's a boat ride. There's a massive human. Oh, there was a boat ride? Did you know there was a boat ride? I no. No idea. No idea there's a boat ride. I need to find out more information. Now it is, um, this is the island, so I, this is where tigers are. Take us around the I have to say, the decor is amazing. And bear in mind, we can't even see any animals at the moment. I don't really know what to expect. Let's have a quick look at the map, actually. There is an yeah, island. Yeah, the map of Ireland. There is an island map here. Oh, well, that's a big old boat ride. Um, they got, they got crocs. Oh, 
Well, I think this oh. is a bit bigger than we anticipated here. Where are we? So we are like just come past them. So we've seen the tap. Oh, we're here. There we go. Yeah. So we're coming around here. Oh my god. So that's towards the exit. Yeah, I have no idea where we are. Right, okay. Well, the boat ride we're heading straight is there. The and that goes all the way around the back, all the way around the top and back down here again. And that still doesn't see anything we need to see. Well, it goes straight Although we did the see, partners. they're different bears then, aren't they? Yeah. Jesus Christ. This island is massive. No, no. It's a tree kangaroo, look at it. Briefly saw these in Bristol, but um, it ran away. But that one is happily sitting there in the tree. Yeah. Happily sitting there in the tree. Yep. Love it. More mist. More mist. Actually, yeah, go for it. I think they can come out here as well. I'm not sure there's any out here. No, they're not. These aren't the tree kangaroos. Oh, these are something else. These are the dusky panda melon. Oh, didn't we see them earlier? I think so. Right, I think we want to find the. I think we want to find the bike ride. We don't really know what we want to do. Any ideas? No. Uh, where are we? Continue. Right. What's down there? I want to know what's down there. Yeah, same. All right. We need to do some investigating. I have no idea. Look at that bridge. I want to go down here. I want to go down here. Yeah, but I think this is. We're not round there, are we? I don't know. I'm guessing this is the boat ride. The boat, yes, it is. Laser River boat trip. Right. So we're going to have a look at the queue. It's not out a bit, so. Let's have a look. Right, the boat ride has a has a queue. Has a half hour queue. Yeah. So we are going to come back to it once we've actually seen the rest of the zoo. I don't know whether we're going the right way. I think we need to come through here, don't we? Yes. Right, we're back on track. It's an uneven surface, Cody. Do you fit the world good? Sure. So yeah, apparently 30 minute queue for this. We'll come back to the boat ride though. We're entering a protected area of what? We're not sure. But everyone seems to be Gathering. Gathering to look. And this is the other bear. That is a bear over there, yep. Oh, we are in the rainforest area. How good does this look? No idea what's in here. Hmm? It's hot in here. It's warm, isn't it? Yeah. Someone's wearing a jumper. It's really cold. Ah, yeah. oh, so the Gibbons are in there. Okay, we saw them on the outside, but look at this. Look. I can see his butt. I see a butt. I see a butt, people. It's just amazing in here. Lots of fish and things. Oh, apparently they've got orangutans in here as well. He's right there. You can't miss him. Oh, yeah, he's not wrong. Sort of well spotted there, Cod. Sort of. So here's the bird area. I mean, it's not that fancy, is it? I think we're going down there in a minute. This reminds me a bit of Marwell, this bit. Just looks so good, doesn't it? It does. I think we're going to snake all the way around now. Should get a wheelchair, Cody. We want to push you down. Okay. It's less pressure. Ooh, hiccups. Is that you? Ooh. Crocodiles. We've come round the other side and there's the gibbons, look. 
loads of them just chilling out. Little baby ones. So there is the Lazy River ride. Um, yeah, it was all right. It was all right. It wasn't quite what I expected. I was hoping for better views of the animals that we didn't get to see. And in fairness, there were quite a few actually that we didn't get to see uh, whilst we were up there. We saw a bear's backside. Yeah. That was fun. Um, and we didn't see the tigers either. So yeah, bit of a mix, bit of a slow one. Put some very brief highlights in there for you. It's a bit of a slow one, but it does look fantastic, doesn't it? When you're riding it, I mean, even it's a woman in yeah, even a woman in front of us said, uh, you know, oh, that's right. wow, it's free kitchen. It's one of the ice cream. Even a woman in front of us said it felt like she was in another country, and that's exactly what it feels like here. I've not experienced that around here for a long time. Do we have ice cream here? No ice yeah, cream. Do. Turn around. Yeah, they do. do they? What's at the top? Oh, the whole yellow sign above their heads. Where are you looking? Oh yeah, ice cream. Right, we're gonna go and get an ice cream, I think. There's a bear's head over the rock there, at the top of the waterfall, poking over. So apparently they've got three of them. We're going to walk back around and see whether the rest are out. Certainly good to see them there. They've come a bit closer, Cody. They've gone and wallowed in mud. They've clearly gone and wallowed in mud. There's only three, which is a bit weird. They're enjoying their dandelions, though, or whatever these are. Can't quite see. Buttercups? Butter things, yep. Grazing. We did see another bear right over the back, but um, sadly, he's in the other enclosure. There's the anteater over the back, look. He's having a little wander. And then, yeah, Mr. Bear's laying on the rock over there. He's still behind it, though. Yeah. Loving life. Don't blame him, to be honest, and whatever like this. I've been sprawled out on a rock as well. This is the area of the painted dogs. Now we have just walked through it and we didn't see any, but the enclosure again is huge. Like, huge. Antelope in the right. See some zebra in the background. So this area opened in 2011, the sign said. It's aged really well over the last 11 years. And when we look at the general theme of the park, it's um, streets ahead of even some of the theme parks, to be honest with you. It really is streets ahead. Black Rhino Reserve here. They're not as big as the white rhinos, I don't think, no. I still don't want to get in there, Kurt. But if you charge them, you got an issue. Yeah, sign our Cody. Oh, well, they break enough bones, so I suppose if we're going to sacrifice anyone, it's going to be you. We found the meerkats, and look, there's a couple of babies. Look at them. How diddly they are. Is he going to jump? He's thinking about it. There's another one there, look, come out. Oh, so sweet, so sweet. Now we made it back to the beginning and now we're making it back out to see the Komodo dragons. Yeah. Because we missed these on the first loop. Mm. We saw the rhino. That buzz just literally had a turtle on camera. You definitely got that on camera. Okay. Apparently the birds just had a turd. 
Go Fly it back, back people. Like Fly it back, people. See if it's there. <laughs> That's a highlight of your vlog. <laughs> I'll put that in a timestamp, see if anyone clicks on it. Yeah, you should. All right, I'll do that. But dragons in danger, Komodo dragons, quite rare. Deadly things, absolutely deadly. That's where we're heading now. We are in the dragon territory and there is Mr. Komodo dragon. You would not want to be in there with that. No siree, do I want to be in there? With that, but it is a stunning, stunning reptile. Reptile? Gotta be a reptile, isn't it? Yeah. Gotta be. It's our final stop of the day in the giraffe and the carpy house. We forgot they had a carpies actually. Don't know how I forgot that. Ready? Ready? Whoa. Also, one outside. Wow. All this sunshine and space outside. Oh, he comes late, he's coming in as well. He feels like he's missing out. Maybe he is. They can't lean over like they can at Marwell though. That concludes our day here at Chester Zoo. First ever time we've visited the zoo. Oh yeah. my God, I am genuinely taken back by it. Genuinely, genuinely taken back by it. Uh, Kurt had a look, the monorail they shut in 2019 because they didn't fit their vision of a world-class zoo. And I fully and understand issues. that. Yeah, maintenance issues, etc. It does look quite old. And I can really understand that because you can see where they've made improvements and changes around the park. And you can see areas that still need to be slightly done. There's not many, to be honest. But there are areas there where you walk around and generally I thought we were abroad. Because that's how good the zoos like the are abroad. Area. Yeah, Back on the just, inside as well. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm genuinely so shocked. So shocked by it. It's really cool by surprise. It's really good. 10 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's the uh, best zoo I've ever been to in this country. Mm. Um, you know, there are areas of there where I thought we were walking around Animal Kingdom or walking around Bush Gardens. It was, it was that good, that good in places. And you can see how big it is as well. See how far we've walked. See how big the car park is. Oh, like yeah. So we've spent, we got an afternoon yeah. ticket because it is a bit cheaper. And you know, to be fair, we've not been to a zoo yet where we actually thought we could spend more than four hours at, to be honest. Uh, we've been to some of the larger ones, West Midland Safari Park. You can do the drive in the inside bit quite comfortably in four hours. At Marwell, which is quite local to us. Blackpool and other places like that. And you know, we've never been to one, but we definitely haven't covered everything. Like, we missed a few things. I think we've missed a few things, yeah. We've missed a few things. So this is a, you know, and that's without stopping for food. We had no picnic, we had before we come out. So yeah, there's a lot more we need to do. I'll be back to Chester Zoo, undoubtedly. I've always said it's quite an expensive place to visit, but actually seeing what's here and then reflecting on the price, I Very think good. it's probably a bargain. Yeah, even at Probably the a bargain, huh? yeah. yeah. It's probably a bargain. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's definitely been a long one. I know that already. And it's a long one without us covering everything. That's how big this is. We were super, super impressed with Chester Zoo. And it is a place we will be coming back to. But from a hot, exhausting day here in Chester, honestly, absolutely knackered. Thanks for joining us here on UK Theme Parks. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.